Anyway, George Washington, which is the first president of the United States. Here's a picture of him. As the first president of the United States, George Washington, 1789 to 1797, is recognized by Americans as the father of his country. Uh, earliest known image in which Washington is identified as, as such is on the cover of circa 1778 Pennsylvania German Almanac. Lancaster, Gedruck Bay, Francis Bailey. This identifies Washington as Landis Vater, a uh, father of the land. His career, Washington was part of the economic and cultural elite of the slave-owning plan planters of Virginia. As a youth, he was trained as a surveyor and helped survey the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. French and Indian War, Washington was commissioned in 1754 as a colonel in the Virginia Militia and served with Edward Braddock of the British Army during the French and Indian War. During the Battle of the Forks of Monagalea, or something like that, he had three horses shot out from under him. He showed his coolness under fire in organizing the retreat of the debacle. Yeah, sorry. Washington then organized the 1st Virginia Regiment, which saw service through the war. However, Washington left the regiment to serve in the House of Burgesses. Between wars, following his military service in 1757, he married Martha Dandridge Custis, the wealthy widow of Daniel Park Custis. The newlywed couple moved to his estate, Mount Vernon, where he took up the life of a genteel farmer. He became a member of the House of Burgesses. He was initiated as a Freemason in Fredericksburg, Virginia on February 4th, 1752. Uh, he was part of the American Revolution, uh, as you can see here, 1775, July 3rd. He assumed command of the Continental Army in British Revolutionary War, or American Revolutionary War, excuse me. I don't know where the hell that came from. After successfully driving the British out of Boston, Washington lost the Battle of Long Island in 1776 and retreated to Valley Forge outside of British-held Philadelphia where the American forces recovered. On December 25, 1776, Washington led the American forces across, crossing the Delaware to attack the same forces in Trenton, New Jersey. The successful attack built morale among the pro-independence colonists. Washington retained an army and being throughout the revolution, keeping British forces tied down in the center of the country while General Gates and Benedict Arnold won the Battle of Saratoga in 1777. This victory led to French recognition of the United States. In 1781, Washington, commanding both American and French forces, besieged General Cornwallis at ba Battle of Yorktown in Virginia. Um... British surrender, surrenderer, excuse me, surrender, yeah, whatever. <laughs> there was the effective end of British attempts to quell the revolution in 1783 by means of the Treaty of Paris. Great Britain recognized American independence. After the war, he presided over the American Constitutional Convention in 1787. He was elected president in 1788 and 1792. Washington remains the only president unanimously elected by the Electoral College. Citizen Gennett. In 1793, the revolutionary government of France sent diplomat, diplomat Citizen Gennett, who attempted to turn popular sentiment towards American involvement in the war against Great Britain. Gennett also was authorized to issue letters of mark and reprisal to American ships to have authority to any French consul to serve as a prize court. Gennett's activities forced Washington to ask the French government for his recall. The Whiskey Rebellion? This is going to take forever, guys. Sorry. In, se in 1791, the federal government 
imposed an excise tax on whiskey. This tax was highly unpopular on American frontier, and in July 1794, in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, a federal marshal was attacked by, by a mob, and a regional inspector's house was burned. On August 7, 1794, Washington called out the militias of several states and led a force of 13... Thousand, I think, to suppress the unrest. Okay, personal information. Uh, he lives on. He lived on Mount Vernon, uh, which is located in Washington D.C. Um, admirers of Washington circulated in a parochial. Yeah, I can't say that word. Story about his honesty as a child and the story he wanted to try out a new axe and chop down his father's cherry tree. When questioned by his father, he gave the famous non-quotation, I cannot tell a lie. It was I who chopped down the cherry tree. The story first appeared after Washington's death in a naive, inspirational children's book of Parison Mason Weems, who has been rector of the Mount Vernon Parish. Uh, the capital city of the United States, Washington, D.C., is named for him. The District of Columbia was created by an act of Congress in 1790, and Washington was deeply involved in its creation, including the sitting of the White House. At this time, the future site of the capital was a swamp, and Washington re remained largely marshland well until the 19th century. The capital was placed in the south rather than in the major towns of the north as a compromise during the writing of the United States Constitution in order to get Southern votes for important compromises. Uh, Washington was also selected West Point, New York as the site for the United States Military Academy. Uh, Washington State in the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. is also named for him and the only state named for a president. His image is on the one dollar bill and the quarter dollar coin. Okay, here's illustrations of him. Uh, this was 1772, I do believe. Virginia Colonel. Here's another. Washington taking command of the American Army at Cambridge, 1775. Well, George Washington receiving French generals at Mount Vernon. George Washington's Revolutionary War Account Book, 1775-1783. French General Lafayette with Washington and Mount Vernon. These are all coming out of the National Archives, by the way. Engraving of George Washington at Mammoth, 06-28-1778. President Washington Archive. Uh, sorry if I didn't get you to see that long enough. George III, King of England, uh, circa 1778. That's his arch rival, by the way. Uh, George Washington's letter to Mr. Stewart, January 4th, 19, 4th 19, uh, 1799. Excuse me. <laughs> I apparently cannot read today. Okay, there's another one. Famous English general who surrendered to the Americans at Yorktown, General Cornwallis, after the Revolutionary War, circa 1799. Mount Vernon during the last century. Photograph of a group of digenaries, including British Field Marshal Harold Alexander and Mrs. Alexander, outside George Washington's home at Mount Vernon, 1947. Quick facts. Okay, rank first, 1970, 1789 to 1797. Uh, he was succeeded by John Adams. Date of birth, he was born February 22nd, 1732. Place of birth, he was born in Westmoreland County, Virginia. Date of death, December 14, 1799. Place of death, Mount Vernon, Virginia. Occupation, farmer and soldier. He had no affiliation with any political party. Uh, his vice president was John Adams. Okay, so there you have it.
that was my video on him and I figured that the next one that I'm going to do is John Adams so stay tuned for that uh, I don't know when I'll do that I'll probably do it in breakups because I don't want people to get bored of this so enjoy and I will see you guys next time